Hey everyone, this is Dr. Drizzle and welcome to Earth Week. Today we're going to talk about water wheels. Water wheels are devices that take advantage of flowing or falling water to generate power and they do that by using paddles mounted around a wheel. Nowadays, hydroelectric dams function on the same basic principle so we don't have a lot of just the water wheels around. Did you know that China produces the most hydroelectric power, followed closely by Canada, Brazil, and then the United States of America? We recently visited the Hoover Dam, which is located between Nevada and Arizona. Now the Hoover Dam is a concrete arch gravity dam. As we begin our build today, I want you to think of careers that you could have if this is something that interests you. You could be a mechanical engineer, a civil engineer, an electrical engineer. You could also be the hydroelectric plant operator or an analyst. So let's get to it. As you know, we're stuck in the house right now, so I can only use materials that we had around the house. Luckily for me, my grandson Oliver had some Legos. So we're working on a paddle-based water wheel for this. But here's some other ideas I came up with. This one is made out of paper plates, plastic spoons, and then I have a dowel in between it. Now, what I wanted to do was replicate what a water wheel does by making use of water, falling water. As I look at this now, I see that my plate is a little off kiltered, so we'll see if that messes up with the design. I'm gonna put it over this large bucket to make sure that whatever we're using doesn't go all over the table. I thought it would be fun to try something other than water first. So as you can see, let me demonstrate this. This moves freely on the dowel. So I'm going to try and pour some rice into one of these spoons. Now, not the top spoon, but probably the spoon around nine o'clock. And I'm going to see if I can get this to move. So we had some success there, but did you notice it was a little off kilter? There might have been something in my design that I could go back now and redesign to make sure that the plates are vertical and not horizontal or leaning. So that one worked pretty well. I think I could do a little um, help on that one. Let's look at another one. So this again used paper plates. Now to me, plastic plates would make more sense because we're using water, but I didn't have any of those around the house. I did take some solo cups and cut them in half. And then I had this lovely duct tape. I put a a dowel back through it, noticing this time that my dowel is a little bit straighter and that this freely moves. So since I am over a bucket, I feel more comfortable using water with this one. So I'm going to try to see what happens. Yeah, so we actually have this one moving pretty well. Now, if we want to generate some energy, obviously you just stand in there with water is not going to work. So we'd have to think of a way to move this design into an area where falling water or flowing water would get it to work. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. And then I thought together we can make one. So we've used paper plates and I thought, well, I have a lot of uh, cardboard from Amazon boxes that have been delivered here. So I cut out two circles. I just made up the size for this. This is actually the lid of a Tupperware container. And I did two complete circles. And then I found these little small paper cups and thought they would be cute to use. So I'm going to take the paper cups and I'm placing them side by side. And I'm using a stapler and just putting the stapler in there. Now you could use tape if you wanted to. I just happened to have a stapler and thought that would be cool. So I would continue using this all the way around and then attach the other piece of cardboard. So I just happened to have one ready. So here is a completed water wheel and I will let you know and you probably would believe me that I've not tested this one yet, so there is no water that's been poured on this one because I wanted to let this be one of those moments, whether we succeed or fail, we can learn from it. 
So I'm going to set this in here. I do like the idea of the um, formation of this is much straighter. And I'm going to try and pour and we're going to see if this works. We have success. And you notice the faster I pour, well, we had success for just a moment. The faster I poured, the faster it spin, uh, would spin. Let me show you my design flaw here. So I had some short bamboo skewers, not really strong ones. Actually, these came off of a photo booth prop that I had for a science day. So then I added some extra um, strength to it by using some paper straws. But I see what my problem was. The paper straws were pretty handy dandy but they're not long enough, so I had to pull them apart a little bit, which made it not as strong. So what can you come up with? What design can you create for a water wheel to uh, provide energy, maybe to an outdoor pond or to a bird feeder? Remember, we made those this week. Thank you so much for joining me today for our Earth Week Water Wheel Challenge. I want to thank uh, Joanna Radford for yesterday for our great transplanting garden session. Let's see what you're doing with that. Make sure that you're sending your designs and posting them on Twitter at Dacia92. That's at D-A-C-I-A-9-2. Join us tomorrow when we build our own solar cookers and we might even make a little bit of ice cream. Thanks so much, everyone. This is Dr. Drizzle, out.